Hey, audio tears. The long wait is over. Our Vision Ears tour kits are in. It's official. The Phonics and EXT tour is now beginning. We have one tour kit shipped out and the other one is sitting in front of you, ready to go uh, after the completion of this video. So those that have joined us for our Visioneers uh, Elysium tour, it has been spectacular. We've listened to a couple of other items that have come up along the way. We've even heard the Earl, which was spectacular. But over the uh, course of that original tour and the praise that's been lavished on the Earl, the um, Earl had been discontinued, which left a great big hole for a lot of people in that the Earl was uh, a going favorite for the best um, in-air of all time. So it was uh, that big hole that Visioners had to fill to uh, make a replacement. And sure enough, the Phoenix has raised, risen from the ashes and is now a uh, solid contender for uh, for the Earl performance. What we've got is a dual flagship that uh, is sitting in front of us with this tour. This tour is featuring both the Phonics, which is a uh, replacement for the Earl, as well as the EXT, which is a replacement for the the Elysium. The Elysium is known for being a very mid-centric and extremely fun in-ear. The EXT as a replacement, I'm not sure that I would put it in the same category. Even though we've got all the same working parts, and we've got that fantastic mids that we've, uh, we had with the Elysium, this isn't a class all by itself. It is closer to the uh, performance of the, uh, the phonics. So I'm going kind of back and forth to give you a clue what to expect here. The phonics is very akin to the Earl on its setting too. Those that have listened to the Earl know that it underneath its front shell has a switch on each of the units that allows you to switch from a setting of one to four. And um, number one is the basiest, number four the least basic. Number two has been the going favorite overall from everybody that's tried it. Uh, it's not saying that's everybody's favorite, but the majority would, uh, would point to number two as being the favorite. And that specifically, is the tuning that the phonics was set to. As you can see, the phonics has a incandescent glow of fire red, and it is spectacular looking. If uh, you've ever held the Earl, uh, it was made out of solid silver and had a heft to it. Well, you've got that same heft, that same beauty with the uh, phonics. But the uh, removable face plates are gone. And instead, we've got the new um, Phonics um, face plates that are spectacular and beautiful. Fitting in the air, they fit quite a bit like the Earl. They're heavy and, uh, and you can fill in there, but they quickly warm up and disappear into a lush sound. The uh, Earl had a, a warm lushness to it that I hugely enjoyed. It brought, um, I don't know, an ambiance to the party that I just don't get with other in-ears. The uh, phonics is doing the same thing. Now, the detail and the amount of uh, presentation size and everything else is fed right into the uh, EXTs, except for it's a lot more transparent of a uh, signature. It doesn't have the warmth of the phonics. 
So it feels a lot more solid state listening to the XT versus a high-end tube sound coming from the uh, Phonics. When I listen to the Phonics, it is a it's not the dynamic uh, bass driver that we have in the XT. So there is definitely more slam with the EXT than with the Phonics, but just like the Earl and every other um, uh, in-ear that uh, Visioneers has ever created, they are masters at uh, bass that coming from a BA. So I don't know how they do it, but uh, the VE8 was famous for its bass, and that is a uh, BA-based bass, and it is very apparent in the, the phonics as well. However, there is, there's just no replacing a 10 millimeter dynamic uh, driver in terms of slam. So if your bass head, you're probably going to lean towards the uh, EST. If you're a tube type guy and you love that lushness, you're gonna to lean towards the phonics. If you're more of a solid state transparency type person, the EXT is probably gonna be more your flavor, but there is a, uh, an ambiance that only the phonics provides. If I look at the two side by side and I was to give a um, performance rating, I would say the phonics is going to beat the EXT in performance but the, um, the sound signature is wide enough that they both fit very comfortably side by side and it's easy to own both in your collection. So there you have it. We are now ready to sail and I can't wait to hear from everyone else what their thoughts are. So if you haven't already signed up for the tour, please go to audiotears.com and sign up in our tour thread. If you have, uh, I have our logistics up and you can go and, and check out your position in the lineup and we are shipping and the tour kits are coming your way soon. This is Barra signing out and and looking forward to your comments on the thread.